From the title of this video, y'all know what's going down, man. Welcome back to another episode of Moto Mac TV. I'm your host, Moto Mac. Today, we will be doing an install on the 2021 ZX10R with the Akrapovich full race exhaust system. It is not the titanium one, it is the stainless steel one. I was trying to get my hands on the titanium one, but at the time, I could not get my hands on it. But that's neither here nor there because we are going to get the system onto this bike and I am ready to make some much needed uh, performance updates as I can. One of the reasons that I actually got this exhaust system for this bike is because <clears throat> um, on the chart itself, uh, it actually said that I was missing about 11 horsepower in the mid range. Uh, up top, it made the whole, it made uh, up more horsepower. I think I was only down maybe like three as compared to a, a 21 that had a full exhaust system. But in that mid range, I was down about 11 horsepower. Um, and I believe that was before, no, I think that might've been after I had the, the Power Commander installed too. But either way, uh, I was missing some performance out of there. Uh, the arrow sounded great, it looked great, it was absolutely fine. It's just that obviously I'm gonna get more performance out of this Akrapovich exhaust but guys no more talking let's go ahead and unbox this thing let me show you guys what this thing looks like man all right all right all right i've actually guys to be honest i've never had a full exhaust system on any of my bikes so uh this is a first for me so please excuse all of this excitement carbon fiber holder i think carbon fiber but so let's get into like the nice stuff. Let's just look at the can first, right? Cause I know that's exactly what everybody wants, right? Nobody wants to see hair pipings and all of that stuff, but maybe you guys do. But I know we all want to see the bread and butter, which is the exhaust. Doing another exhaust install within a year of owning this bike. Isn't that something? Let's see this bad boy opened. It made this mat proof. Already got the fairings uh, loosened up on my bike. <clears throat> I got the arrow just already off of there. Uh, it's just time to take off the stock headers. Got to get the oil cooled out the way as well as the uh, radiator and uh, put this bad boy on. My boy Fireblade Lairs, you guys have seen him on the channel a few times. Uh, he's on his way over to help me out. So uh, I'm gonna start the process while he's on the way. And let's get this going. <laughs> All right, so we got all the pieces laid out. This is actually the uh, header right here. I'm actually glad that it all came in, uh, in one piece there, so that's pretty dope. Uh, we got all our bolts um, and springs in here. And then we have the, oh, that's the exhaust hanger. Uh, and then this is the actual mid pipe that we got to install. So it doesn't look too painful. Uh, I want to say the biggest thing that I'm going to have to do is, uh, Loosen up the oil cooler, loosen up the uh, radiator, and get that pushed forward so I can actually, you know, sneak the uh, the headers actually in there. So hopefully it doesn't go too bad. I'm not going to record the entire thing because I know you guys don't want to see all that boring stuff. But uh, I will update you guys as we uh, progress through this. So let's get it going. All right, making some progress here. Me and Fireblade Lairs got the uh, OEM header out, which is uh, what this is right here. And then compare it to the Akrapovich. And by the way, that, that, the craftsmanship of this Akrapovich is outstanding, man. Look at these flanges. Just the, the printout of it versus the OEM ones. It's kind of crazy. It's dope to see these headers side by side. And it's crazy how much of a difference this is gonna make with all the restrictions that are in the OEM ones 
versus the ones that have less restrictions in these acro profits. So moving on. And the diameter of these as well too. I think this is about two and a half when I measured it for ZX10 Mez. And now this one has uh, two separate ones that we're gonna have to install. So yeah, y'all, moving on. I'm excited. My guy Lars, let's get it going. All right, guys, day two, we back at it again. Took a little break, uh, but now we have these stainless steel, stainless steel headers on. Everything was bolted up. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see, but the springs inside of here were a pain to get on, but we finally got those on. So now we're gonna be moving on. Just button the bike up back together a little bit, put the oil cooler bracket back on, put the radiator bracket back on, and then finish assembling um, the rest of the system. So we'll be back. All right, man, we got everything hooked up. Head is in, mid pipe is in, exhaust is on. Exhaust is great, by the way. So, it comes roughly about 24 hours worth of work. Let's see if it came off. Oh, well, I was now. <laughs> Yep, guys, the process is now over. The exhaust is fully installed. It works absolutely great. I am very, very, very pleased with the progress. Took some time to get it done, but I had never done this before. So if I had to do it again, which I do not want to do, but if I do do this again, I know how to go about this a little bit faster than what I did. But man, oh man, Akrapovich, what a beautiful exhaust. This can is a lot bigger than my last one. And it definitely sounds different. Uh, I still haven't really even gotten a chance to take this for a ride as of yet, but you guys will definitely be part of that first ride video once that's released. But man, oh man, does this thing look good. Three quarter system was easy to install. It was just getting those headers and uh, um, and the yeah, collector on there that gave me probably the hardest time. But yeah, let me give you all a cold start. Maybe warm up for a bit, give you guys some revs. Warmed up, let's see how she sounds. Yeah, man, I am excited I got this thing done. Um, the process took a little bit longer than I expected, but no more complaints, man, because I am going to be taking this thing out of state pretty soon. And as well, too, bam, we got our Brock straps uh, in store as well, too. These will be installed for the next SmackDown trip, which will be coming up soon. Uh, be on the lookout for that. I think we may be going to North Carolina. Link up with uh, Mr. Big Eagle 10R. Definitely give him a, a follow on Instagram uh, and on YouTube. Has the same exact bike as me, so we have some uh, Gen 6 wars going on, man. Um, and we, I may have some other things planned as well, too. Uh, August 20th, we also have a track day at NYS team. Definitely get this thing back on the track. Um, so we got some, a lot of things coming your way, guys. So I uh, appreciate you guys for watching this video and sticking with me. And I will see you guys on the next episode, people. Rod safe. Peace out. Also, too, guys, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot forget. Huge, huge, huge shout out to my boy Larry. Fireblade Larry is what I call him uh, for helping me out with this install. Dude came all the way off from Jersey to the city uh, to help me put in work on this. We've been going to spend maybe a good 
I don't know, six hours of trying to put this thing in. Neither of us have ever put it on a uh, full exhaust system on here before, and we had never worked on this bike before either. So, Larry, I appreciate you, bro. I know your girl is watching this too. He did good. <laughs> Thanks again, man. I appreciate that. Thank you.